Welcome back for part 4 of what if Vader never found Ahsoka's lightsaber. If you haven't seen the first 3 parts, I highly recommend you watch those first before watching this video. The links will be in the description below. Ahsoka could see the figure of a young boy sprinting across the sand into his hut. She didn't need to meditate to sense his powerful presence in the force. The shadow of Anakin appeared beside her, and he too could sense Luke. Now told the entire story by Obi-Wan, everything Sidious had told to him had been a lie. He would not allow him to go anywhere near his children. Obi-Wan stepped out of his home and in front of Anakin and Soka, cautiously making his way to the Lars home, failing to notice a droid in a nearby rock. His previous visits had been fraught with hate from Owen Lars. Anakin is also tentative, conflicted by horrible memories of his past life and his eagerness to see his child. How would Luke react? How would the Lars react? There was only one way to find out. Struggling past where he had buried Shmi, Anakin and Ahsoka stepped towards the entrance, as Obi-Wan remained in the background, not wishing to cause any additional animosity. Anakin walked forward and knocked. The door opened, and it was Owen, who met the tall intimidating suited figure, fear in his eyes. That was until he saw the face of the man. Owen's face immediately turned to surprise. Obi-Wan had told him that the light in Anakin had been destroyed, but here he was again. But Owen knew why Anakin had arrived here. For Luke. Having heeded to Obi-Wan's request to raise Luke, he tried to drive the Jedi aspect of life away from him, having seen the chaos they had caused. Just then, Luke rushed to the entrance and stood beside Owen. Looking at Anakin, he felt a bizarre sensation wash over him, their connection growing stronger with each passing moment. Owen realised he could not deny Luke from his destiny. Beru also arrived from the garage, wondering what the commotion was all about. Seeing Anakin standing at the door, she looked at Owen and knew their time with Luke was over for now. Luke didn't quite understand what was happening, but Beru told him to go. Luke followed Anakin and Ahsoka out of his home, as Owen and Beru bid farewell. The walk back to Obi-Wan's home was awkward, as Anakin was unsure what to do with Luke, but thankfully, Ahsoka was able to keep Luke distracted. Upon reaching Obi-Wan's home, Anakin did what he thought best and began to teach Luke about the Force. Lending Luke his lightsaber, Luke's natural affinity with the Force could already be seen, but Anakin needed to speed Luke's training, were they to defeat the Emperor. Suddenly, the lighting in the room dimmed. Gazing upwards, the planet was becoming shadowed by a large Star Destroyer. The Emperor was homing in on his location. They had to get off of the planet fast. Sending a transmission to the clones, their ship soon entered from the mist of sand and they all jumped aboard, with Obi-Wan carrying all of his possessions in a small box. Zooming off into space, it is too late. The Star Destroyer has already noticed them. Anakin takes hold of the controls, weaving his way in and out of the asteroids and debris, reducing Rex to a spectator. Anakin knew he would be unable to outrun the destroyer, so resorted to his favourite option, a full-on attack. Assigning roles for the remaining passengers, Anakin knew of the schematics of the destroyer, having played a hand in its construction. Diving his way down to the bridge, Anakin almost touches the glass, and Ahsoka uses the laser cannons to fire the large bridge tower. The surprise of the attacks mean the shields have not been activated and the support beams collapse. Anakin swoops upwards, allowing for Rex to use his missile bots to perfectly take out the deflector shield generators. Most would be content to escape such a devastating weapon, but Anakin is not. Dropping down one more time, Anakin uses the front mounted laser turrets to take out two of the turbo lasers. But in the excitement, he fails to notice several TIE starfighters heading in his direction, exposing the side of his ship to cannon fire. The TIE pilots take advantage setting one of the wings attached to the sliding doors ablaze. The ship now tilts to one side, the broken wings scraping the surface of the Star Destroyer and they're heading towards a control tower. Relinquishing the controls, he separates the two ships with the Force before taking back into the air. Behind him, the TIE Starfighters collide into the surface of the Star Destroyer, failing to descend as accurately as Anakin had done. The Star Destroyer begins to implode, the impact of the fighter setting off a chain reaction which terminates his existence. The Jedi and the clones are oblivious to this however, as they focus on nursing their wounded ship back to Alderaan. Heading once again to the Tantive IV, Anakin felt happy for the first time since the Clone Wars. Not only had he found a new lightsaber, but he had found his son, another connection to Padme. Now he had to find his daughter. Aboard the ship, with Luke and Obi-Wan beside him, he walks into Bail Organa, who stares at him coldly. Anakin does well not to tap into the dark side and choke the life of somebody who had been a friend to Padme. Obi-Wan could sense the palpable tension and beckoned Bail to one side, explaining that all of what Ahsoka told him was true. Bail cannot believe it, but looking at the expectant Luke, he knows it to be true. Opening a side door, Leia rushes out and sees both her adopted father and her biological father. Looking at Luke, she could sense a certain familiarity about him. It was her brother. 
Bale attempts to block her, but Obi-Wan stops him. This was Anakin's time now. Seeing Anakin with his children almost made Obi-Wan forget that there was still a Sith Lord at large, but it was a threat that would need to be dealt with as quickly as possible. That is it for part 4 of What If Vader Never Found Ahsoka's Lightsaber. If you'd like to see a part 5, please like this video, and if you're new to this channel and my other channel, subscribe for more tiffs. And as always, leave a comment on what tip you'd like to see next, and how I can improve my videos. Thank you very much for watching, and see you next time.